Yeah, they meant you're absolutely right. What do you think Thrawn's doing? I feel like because I know he, but he was what they, they went to. I went to. I think that they Ezra took them to a like an outer world planet. I, I think they went into the unknown regions. That's, That's what I'm saying. Right. Outer world. I say outer world because. Uh, Same it thing. is in the outer ring, but it's like there's a, there are established planets and whatever. We know what we're talking about. Yeah, so I think that he took him someplace far, far away from his people that made an alliance with the Empire. And, but here's um, the thing. The Sith fleet and the Rise of Skywalkers in the Unknown Regions. From the final, the final order, that yeah, massive yeah. Sith. But we didn't see Thrawn in the last. You're absolutely right. We don't know what happened. So... There they is could, something that dude, I wait, wait, there's something could. I saw that I don't I don't I can't take credit for. I don't remember where I saw it though. But it was in Legends, Thrawn was assigned with carrying out the Empire after Palpatine's death. That's essentially what his assignment was. So, and you can still see this is active in some way or shape or form because he still has followers carrying out orders. But that's what I'm saying. I think that Thrawn could be alive and they just kill him off before the actual exactly. events. Like so like what I could said, have been happening? Like, like we said, because unfortunately, you guys, in the, la- the, the, the part of the podcast was corrupted, but we talked about this in the last one, that um, they could be basically setting up the backstory for the, the new movies, the, the recent trilogy. Right, that came same out. with the, the, the clones in those vats. We have, yeah. Like, it looks like Palpatine or Snoke. But my whole thing is that Thrawn wasn't, he only joined the Empire. He left the, the Chiss, uh, his race, the Chiss, uh, I think it was like the Yeah, Ch- I know what you're talking about. He only left, the Chiss he didn't leave them. He, he, no, he made he a deal an, with the Empire. No, and that wasn't, and the deal was, he came off, like, he made a deal with the Empire like, like, to so make no, sure his people were Yeah, okay. he made it for the benefit of his people. Yeah, and they had the whole, like, facade of, oh, I got f- banned from my place, which was, like, he that was the facade he put on mm-hmm. to get in there, and eventually he quickly rose to Grand Admiral, which is weird for a non-human. But he's, he's really, really smart. smart. Oh, he yeah, saw he's that incredibly in intelligent. He's, cred- he's incredibly smart, and he knows what right. he's doing. So, I mean, like I said in the last podcast, unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see it. Um except for the clips, they are working towards bettering the trash that, that they, they made. Oh, absolutely. Of those three. Dave so Filoni is simultaneously pulling from Legends and making the sequel and building up to the sequel trilogy, and everyone's loving it at the same time. Exactly. He because, is like, I mean, like, 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 like I said before, he is like you the said Kevin before, Feige of Star Wars. Yeah, yeah like, like we said before, we hate, like, we didn't hate them, but we didn't think the new movies were good. So now that we're seeing all these possibilities that, like, set up how Palpatine got there, right. how this got there, how the, you know what I mean? Like, right. how all these storylines fit into place, right. then it becomes, okay, these are a lot more interesting to watch now, right. now that we know where so it like, came from. So, like, if you, if we're agreeing on this theory of, of Thrawn was helping build the, uh, was possibly helping build the final order for the Rise of Skywalker, mm-hmm. do you think he left to go take place in the Battle of Jakku? No. Because, I say that because where we're at in the timeline, they're still looking for Thrawn, right? right. I, I personally, like, I would like to see him live past the sequel trilogy and have him be a threat in the future. We'll see. I mean, what I think happened is he somehow found his way back. What, 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 again, I got to remember, where did, because um, this is after Palpatine's death. It's, is, is Rebels right after Palpatine's death? Star Wars Rebels? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, Rebels is in between three and four. So Palpatine is very alive and well. Okay. So like Ezra then, comes across like a, a vision of Palpatine at some point. Oh yeah, it's in the last episode of right. Rebels on season four. I think episode twenty-one or something. It's one of the last ones for sure. Yeah, he's he shows him like his family and is like, you can go back to this. Right. Um, which shows the time travel. Um, I mean, Ahsoka is the evidence of the time travel. I know, but it furthers, they're furthering that point by that last episode where he's like, you can go back to your family. Right. And um, so anyway, I'm saying is, I feel like Thrawn is more of the back actor. Palpatine dies, and he's the in the background still salvaging the Empire, which we're seeing in Mandalorian, right? So in Mandalorian, it's like falling apart, 
the Empire's falling apart. And I feel like he's the... So him and Moff Gideon are essentially doing the same thing? Moff Gideon I think is that, more I think Moff Gideon is, like, reporting to Thrawn. Possibly. Because Ahsoka's like, where is Thrawn? Right. Because she's looking for Ezra. Which means I feel like there was something had to happen because remember, Ezra was injured. He got shot in the shoulder. Right. And um, I feel... Yeah, I feel like that somehow... Do you think Thrawn, we're going to see Dark Side Ezra working for Thrawn? Hell no. Because remember, Sabine's... Remember, he keeps quoting... He kept quoting that thing to Sabine, like, you have to save me. Right? Right, maybe because he knows, like, he can't stand up to Thrawn mentally. I don't think so, because Thrawn isn't Force-sensitive like that. Yeah, but they could easily just do the imp count thing. No, I don't think so. But even if it's not, he could just torture him for months on end. But I don't even... Th- his ship is probably destroyed by then. I mean, they used the ship to travel, but it was, it was pretty... Up though. They didn't use the ship to travel. The, the, the whales, the whales were it. attached to the ship, and that's and when they pulled it. Yeah. yeah, I think that what I think is something happened between Thrawn and Ezra, and then Thrawn got back into power after um, Palpatine. Right. I mean, he all he has to do is show his badge. Exactly, and I think that he's the main reason that they're trying to bring back the Empire. So, like, if to compare it, Thrawn is Pal- Thrawn for the in between six and seven is. Palpatine and Moff Gideon is the Darth Vader. Yeah. yeah. Which is actually, you know what? It makes sense. There is actually a quote from Giancarlo Esposito where he says, My armor is a throwback to Vader. Yeah, but they. they, they maybe he's trying to, like, like, I don't know. Maybe he's. I, I, just I just think, I think what they're trying to do is rebuild the Empire. Oh, absolutely. The Empire is like falling apart. So I think they're, like, they're trying to rebuild the Empire. And then all these series that they're going to make is going to be the backstory of. Part of the backstory to uh, Rebels. Not, not even to Rebels. I mean, not Rebels, to, 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 to the sequel. Yeah, yeah, to the sequel of, like, how you think the background actors started to... And we're going to see movies from that, too. Right, the next movie is for 2023. But we don't know what it's for. And I'm saying if they, if I mean, they build I, it we up... We can have just general ideas coming in, but yes, we don't, we don't definitively know. It yeah, I'm just saying, technically, if they wanted to, they could build up the... They could be working on movies instead of, like, trying to, like, work on something completely new. They could be building up to a movie... Like I said in the last podcast, I think that they're building up to a movie for the backstory of the new sequel, right? Like the new trilogy. You, you mean like they're going to make a new trilogy or building no, up like to the sequel trilogy? The sequel okay, trilogy. Gotcha. And that's what I think they're doing is they're trying to, they're putting all these, the Ahsoka series, the Obi-Wan series, um, the Bad Batch series, um, Mandalorian. They're going to build up in these years to a movie that basically it'll probably be like a main battle scene of all of it coming together. Mm-hmm. That's what I think that they're, they're working towards. 